Alrighty, welcome back to another review. Today, I have a brand new plugin for you from WA Productions. They asked me if I want to do a, um, a review about this plugin and I want to check it out. Um, it's called Make Me Scream, which is a distortion plugin and what it can do and how it sounds, we're gonna check out now. All right, so let's get straight to it. Here is the plugin. Um, this is a plugin that you can use on various sources like guitar, electric guitar. You can use it like a guitar pedal or a guitar amp. So you can use a DI signal, for example, um, and just use that as your main distortion unit. You can use it in bass, you can use it on drums, um, or even also on vocals um, if you want to really mess them up or if you want to excite them a little bit. I'm going to show you that in an example. Um, and you can also use it, of course, on the whole mix, um, which may add um, an interesting effect to it to give it a little bit more crunch. So let's go to the features straight. As you can see, we have here two windows, which are the waveforms. Um, well, the right one is the waveform and the left one is the type of distortion. So let's play a little bit. As you can see, we have here our drum loop in the waveform. And here in the left, you can see the um, type of distortion. So first of all, we got here a preamp tube and that sounds like that. Output a little bit. So without it, and with. All right. So this is the Type A um, distortion, which is kind of like a analog simulation, so analog tube saturation. Um, the B one is soft clipping, as you can see. It has a little bit of a different form here. Um, C is quite plain distortion that you would probably see in guitar amplifiers or guitar pedals. And D is really messed up distortion. Um, it's a folded sinus distortion. Um, so let's see how the B one sounds. And again the A. Then you also have the option um, to boost the signal quite a bit, um, which here is the boost knob. Um, it add up, adds up to 40 dB, which is actually quite a lot, and you can really, really overdrive the plugin. You might have to reduce the output quite a bit. Jeez. That's B, C. Well, that's quite crazy. <laughs> May not work for drums, obviously. Okay, so that's the boost function. As far as the modes here go, we have Fuzz, Wall, Cliff and Make Me Scream. So the fuzz is the distortion you hear now. It's the default mode, then we got Wall which is obviously a muffled sound, so dampens the high frequencies quite a bit. Cliff, more high end, more top end, and the scream. So really over the top distortion, um, where it can really mess up the sound. All right, so let's go back to fuzz and um, the other features here, so with the filter section here, the cut off, emphasis and envelope follower. They um, are in dependency to each other. Um, here is a filter um, where you can say a low pass, a band pass or a high pass. As you can see, low pass. Let's see the high pass. And um, the envelope follower is following in the transient of the input signal to modulate the filter cutoff, so kind of like an auto-wire effect. 
automate that if you want that type of effect in your DAW. Alright, so let's get that back. Um, then there is also a oversampling. Um, the X1 is obviously no oversampling and it goes up to X16, um, which uses quite a bit of um, CPU power and this is basically um, the, the amount of the internal oversampling and um, the higher the oversampling, the less anti-aliasing you get or will be in the output signal. So that's basically unwanted non-harmonic distortion digital from the plugin, um, which is actually quite nice that they added that into it. All right. And then you also got the output slider, so you can set the output so not to overload the channel. And there's also a try and wet knob, which is nice, especially when you want to use it directly on a, um, on a track itself and you want to plant it the distortion um, to the signal. But obviously if you want to use it on object, you want that set to be wet. All right, so those are the features and I played already a little bit around with it. Um, with this drum track, I created here this drum drive um, preset for a little bit of preamp distortion, analog distortion um, in the wall setting and a little bit of a cutoff in the high pass. Um, played around a little bit with the emphasis and the envelope. So let's see how that works out. Without it. And with. So it's more a um, lo fi sound um, as I reduced quite a bit the higher frequencies and brought out the bass a little bit more. Um, but it actually sounds quite nice. Um, for example, if you want to create cassette type or tape type sound, um, so bad tape or something like that. Um, works really great. There's also other presets. Um, let's see, maybe let's try the, um, let's go a little bit crazy and maybe the fuzzy distortion. Now that's fun. Extreme saturation. Maybe a little bit over the top for this one. Let's do warm That works quite well. All right, so those are the drums and let's see what the electric guitar is doing. Also have here a preset um, guitar drive, a um, little bit of a preamp tube, um, added here the type C um, set uh, distortion and um, in the fuzz mode, a um, little bit of a low pass here. And let's see, first of all, without the plugin, Nice sparkly chorusy guitar. I think that was recorded with the TC Electronic Juno pedal. And now with. So just a little bit of a drive to give it a little bit more presence. Do it, let's see. Fake guitar one.
let's go also finally um, to the vocals. Let's see how that works out. First of all, we got nothing on it. Maybe you didn't mean it. But maybe you did. The way that okay. I see it. And so what you can use or, or what you can do also with the plugin is to um, excite something. And I created here a preset um, which adds high frequency distortion, um, which is essentially kind of like not actually the same. If you think, for example, of um, the FX, um, the analog unit, the exciter, um, that is widely used also in plugin form, um, which adds higher frequency distortion. And you can do that also um, with this plugin. So let's see how that works out. Maybe you didn't mean it. But maybe it did. The way that I see it. Out. So you thought it either way. So what do I believe? Is a damn good question. So it's very nice or very handy to have to try and wet up so you can blend it in how much you like it. You can also use it on an auxiliary track. Um, and what I did here is a um, little bit of a preamp tube, um, analog distortion in the Make Me Scream settings, so over the top distortion, um, and a little bit of a high pass filter. And as you can see, you can Maybe add it. More or less to the mix. Maybe it did the way that I see it. You thought can also target higher frequencies. Way. So what do I believe? Is a damn good question. Let's see other presets. Um, maybe let's try to really fuzzy that up. Mm, let's try again this fuzzy distortion. Well, it's not the right one for, for this type of um, vocal, but you get the idea. It's also an exciter. All right, and last but no means least, we got here the whole mix. Um, created here also a um, preset, which has just a little bit of a preamp tube, analog distortion in the fuzz mode, um, no cut off. So this is basically, it adds just, um, as you can see, 50% here, just a little bit of distortion to the overall signal. Um, oversampling here X16, so you don't get um, any non-harmonic distortions from digital from the plugin itself. So let's see the mix without it. Let's bring it in. adds a very slight amount of presence. Found it. I like that quite a lot actually. All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope I could give a good overview of this plugin. It's called the Make Me Scream from WA Productions. In the description below is a link to 
um, the plugin boutique website. So um, just click on it and search for the plugin Make Me Scream. Um, you will find it there. Um, there's also, of course, a um, trial version. And I believe, um, as I'm releasing this video today, um, there is a um, short sale for that plugin. So make sure if you want to um, add that plugin to your collection, um, you might want to buy it quite soon. All right, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and hopefully I'm gonna see you in the next video.